first carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. And it was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll look to Haskins to throw it. Forced out to his left. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and six. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Third down, here's Haskins. And he finds a man, it's McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On a double. Mike, 57. I got it. I got it. I got it. Double tight. Double tight. Four down. Four down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. From the gun, it's Haskins. Got his target, Samuel. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? A loss of two there, second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. On second down, here's Haskins. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 25-yard line. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Brings up second and seven at the 21 yard line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's McCaffrey. 
They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And he's got his target. That's more. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Throwing on third and long. Haskins. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. How did he do that? I've got, how did he do it? I mean, in this type of weather, it's not just catching it. It's seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why I ended up having to go up one-handed. But, boy, what a catch. That yeah, was a spectacular one-handed grab. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They run the counter. Moss, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a give right side. Carson. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in this snow, ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. Now a run with McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And finally marked down at the 23. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys good, yeah. backside guys. Man, that, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. McCaffrey. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Inside the 15, shy of the 10. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Well, partner, if we had their entire playbook in front of us, I'm not sure we would have picked out that play as the one to run in that situation. How about the guts of the offensive coordinator? Dialing that one up into great success. This is McCaffrey. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Looking to throw on second down, Haskins. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer out him again. Second and goal from the one. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it. Ready, go. Ready. Again, McCaffrey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Seattle defense, they haven't broken yet. Coming up here on the third, and he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. 
third and goal they decided to throw for it. But how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. And his kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They find themselves down here after an interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. But all in all, you'd have to say fortunate to be only down six. Yeah, and you know how teams huddle on the sideline before they come out on the field in between series? Guaranteed what's said there is, guess what, guys? We take this ball, move it downfield, put it in the end zone. We're right back to even. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Mike 58, right there. Yeah. You don't want none. Now Wilson on first down. He'll find Metcalf. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. Brandon, there have been some memorable snow games for championships in the NFL. 1948, Philadelphia Eagles, Chicago Cardinals. Well, the most famous one in my lifetime, I think, is got to be 01, right? Raiders, Patriots to send the Patriots to the uh, Super Bowl. To the the tuck roll. Tuck roll, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, I think that's the Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Well, it wasn't much of a gain, but we're getting near the two-minute warning, so maybe they just want to get to that point, regroup, and decide what they want to do the rest of the half. up at the half we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year we'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl now a shot taken on third down but it's going to wind up incomplete I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Now it's Haskins into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. Point after here coming up. And he 
puts it through. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Haskins now off the bootleg. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Second and 10, here's Haskins again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Hoffman. The reception, good for seven. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Haskins looking to throw on first down. Steps away to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Haskins. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. We ain't giving them nothing to do. Now Haskins to throw on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now it's Haskins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Now it's Carson. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Now it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves them with seven yards to go on third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On third down, Wilson. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second down six at the 45-yard line. Here we go, D, get up. From the 45 on second down, Haskins. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Here's Haskins. Under pressure here and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Sean Robinson, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now Haskins, third and long. He'll rifle this one deep. And this is caught at the 20. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. 
And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He's got Lockett. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. Now this will go for five up to the 33. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That catch good for five. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Here's the sneak with Wilson. And able to follow his center and pick up the first. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. On first down, Carson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. They get 17 on that one, move the chains, first down Seahawks. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. And to give this time to the tailback. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Right. 
Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chris Jones forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. To try again after the sack, Wilson. Buying time to his left. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice gain. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick. But let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 45 on second down, Haskins. He rifles complete, caught by Moore. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Haskins now, 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. On first down, it's Haskins. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. The Panthers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Not your conventional play call, but that's okay. You probe the defense a little bit with some of everything in your playbook. That way they have to account for everything as the game moves on. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Go 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And I hate to point to that missed field goal from their last drive, but you look at the scoreboard, they would be in the lead if they had that three. But no doubt those points or those missed points do loom large. But here they're getting a chance for a makeup, aren't they? Almost like my time in school, I was always begging my teachers for a makeup exam. Here's their opportunity now to put those points on the board. And every point becoming more vital here in the second half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Check your heart rate. We ain't going. We ain't going. Throwing is Wilson. And this one complete to Reed. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Wilson now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They run the counter, Moss. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. At the 48-yard line. Second and nine, Wilson, this one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The Seahawks on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Wilson. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. First down, Seattle. Wilson now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll toss it out to Carson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Throwing on second down, Wilson. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Brian Burns able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Zero, zero, zero. 
Third and long, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf, he's got it. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air, another first down. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Hey, hey, watch this, watch this. Alert, 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 alert. Hey, zero, zero, zero. 25, 25. Slip, slip. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Carson, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. They run again with Carson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Draw play. This is Carson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10 yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And his kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-point drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Back to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 29-yard line. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Here we go with Haskins. 
Haskins. Open man is Samuel, complete. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. And this is no good. He missed the field goal try, and they are out here in the wild card round. Their coaching staff, they were pretty adamant beginning of the year. Our goal is to get to the Super Bowl. Well, they made it to the playoffs. That's part one, but they fall a little bit short. And to me, once again, it exemplifies just how difficult it is to not just make the playoffs, but to win games in the playoffs. So you can set your goals high, but if anything is off during that time, you have some key injuries or you just...